Hi, this is an example problem from section 3.4 in the textbook on relative velocity. So uh, this has to do, relative velocity has to do with uh, who is making a measurement of a object's velocity. So pause this for a second and go ahead and read this problem. And so you see in this problem we've got two objects that are in motion with respect to an observer who's measuring their motion being at rest on the ground. And uh, pause for a second and see if you can solve this, this problem. What is the velocity of the car as observed by the bicyclist? Well, from the bike, from the ground point of view, the bike's going 8 meters per second due north, and the uh, car is going 8 meters per second due north, right? So from the bike's point of view, it looks like the car is only going 12 meters per second, right? So if you got 12 meters per second for that one, great. Uh, let's go ahead and see how we can kind of draw a little picture of this to understand it a little better here. So maybe we draw this, uh, this direction here as north, and we've got, you know, north up here. And we'll go ahead and draw a couple uh, vectors to, for, the, for the car, maybe like this. So there's your velocity of the car. And uh, down here, maybe, we'll look at the velocity of the bike. Let's say it's a little bit behind there. And it's a shorter arrow, arrow because it's the bike. Now, what we want to consider is that actually both of these are measurements made from the ground. So we write... C, G for the car as measured, velocity is measured by the ground, and V, B, G as the uh, velocity of the bike is measured by the ground. Now there's a formal way to kind of relate these things. So what we want to do here is uh, always be aware of the three reference frames that we're dealing with in our problem. In this case, we've got G, that's the ground, right? We've got C, that's the car, and we've got B, that's the bike, right? And of course, just to be clear, right, when we write something like V, C, G, this means uh, this is the velocity of the car as measured by an observer on the ground. And that's how we always read these things, okay? Now, uh, if we want to figure out the velocity of the car as observed by the bicyclist, we're looking for this. V car, velocity of the car, is measured from the reference frame of the bicyclist. And how is that related to the other velocities that we have? Well, it turns out that uh, there's a, a way to put this together. So this is the way you kind of do this. Look at this here, VCB car as measured by the bike, it's going to be equal to a sum of two other velocities. How do we write this term? Well, you take the CB, you separate them in each of the uh, two terms in the sum, and in the inner side you put the G. Just memorize that. That's the way it works. Uh, if you want to uh, reverse the sign, or sorry, if you want to reverse the two subscripts, so the velocity of the uh, ground as observed by the bike, if we want to reverse that, we just get a negative sign because uh, someone on the bike sees the ground going in the opposite direction at the same speed, and putting a minus sign just reverses that direction and keeps the speed the same. So for this one, let's go ahead and do it, right? So I'm going to go ahead, V, I write the first C and I leave a space for the, the next thing, and then a plus, I write the next, uh, leave a space and put the B here. What goes where the dashed line is? The uh, other one that we didn't use, right? Which one didn't we use? We didn't use the uh, ground, right? So we're going to put that here. And finally, I'm going to check and see. I'll write this a little bit better here. So we got VCG, we got VBG, but here I've got the opposite here. I've got V, uh, these guys are reversed, right? VGB. So if I want to go ahead and fix that, all I do is do this, V, C, G, which we have, good. And now I'm going to have to put a minus sign in, and so I flip these two. And now I've got that one as well. And so we know what the uh, values of these guys are. V, C, G is 20 meters per second, right? And for the bike, as observed by someone on the ground, it's 12 meters per second. When we plug these in, we're going to end up getting 20 meters per second minus... 
12 meters per second. And we see that uh, we end up getting the same result that you may have gotten just by thinking about it in your head. Now, uh, this same type of relative velocity addition carries over into two dimensions where it's probably impossible to do this in your head, but the same methodology we just saw here works in two dimensions. Uh, you just need to use vector addition. We'll look at that next.